BayAreaSportsLiquor.com, San Francisco Bleed Bears post game report from Candlestick Park here in San Francisco for the 49ers after uh, coming with the little break coming off of their 42 10 thrashing of the Jacksonville Jaguars in London, the UK, two weeks ago. They come back here at Candlestick to start the second half on a very disappointing note. The Niners dropped a 10 to 9 decision to the Carolina Panthers, and the Niners have plenty of opportunities. They were the only points of the game on three Phil Dawson field goals of 53, 43, and 25 yards. The Niners were 0 for 2 in the red zone when they had to play the second quarter where they had a chance inside that red zone against the Carolina Panthers, 50 defense, who dunked it, which was very well inside the red zone. They, and they held their ground today. Uh, they, they stopped the Niners. They could have been a 13 nothing lead, but instead they held the Niners to field goals. Uh, so in the game today, also lead the way for Carolina. D'Angelo wins a 27 yard run touchdown. And uh, it was 9 to 7, but then it was their kicker. Rams Gaino hit a 54 yard field goal. He was one out of two for field goals. Uh, Sunday, and that turned out to be the game winner, and we got some of the notes from today's game, and it's very disappointing. The Panthers came in there today, third rate defense in the red zone, uh, Bears uh, just uh, could not, you know, it was like a pitcher's goal like baseball, how it felt like, uh, like today. It was like a pitcher's goal with the Dallas two defenses, and I felt uh, the Panthers Winning 10 to 9 was like Carolina beating the point after the game of baseball by a score of 2 to 1. And um, that questionable play call inside the red zone, that was a key. All the Swift Bulls played 15 plays in the game. Carolina had the quarterback defense, their defense sacked on Captain X six times. Six times. And then we uh, look at some of the other notes of today's game. San Francisco, 46 yards passing, 105 yards rushing. Colin Kaepernick was 11 out of 22 for only 91 yards and one interception. It blows out good as his short run of the time. Sorry, four back. 52 total plays, 151 total net yards, two turnovers. Uh, only two of 13 on third downs. Frank Gore, 16 carries, 82 yards, averaging 5.1 yards. As long as the 17 Kendall Hunter, he had three carries for eight, eight yards, averaging 2.7 yards, run the fumble. Colin Kaepernick, four rushing yards, while carries for 16 yards, averaging four, 16 yards as long as. And also, uh, uh, Mario Mangham, three receptions for 30 yards, and Paul Bowden, three receptions for 40 yards, Frank Gordon, two receptions for uh, two yards, and Jordan Davis, this is a killer. Which, by the way, he left the game with a concussion. <laughs> One reception for two net goal yards. That is the equivalent of catching a one, one catch for two yards. It's like uh, it's like going to a national dollar store in your local area or a five and dime store. That's how the night offense was. Five and dime national one dollar store. And also, uh, and that and uh, you gotta give Carolina. A lot of credit. They when once they got got ahead for good, uh, Grant Gato's field goal, the Panthers the team to get their third down ratio completions. Forty seven percent they completed on third down conversion that rank top of the whole football. They played a lot of keep away and that was big case of the game. So the Niners uh, and some other notes coming out of this game. Uh, Vernon Davis left the game with a concussion, never did not return. Eric Reed had a concussion. They both got those two protocols later this week. Yeah, they even do it. It's not even a guarantee that neither one of them will be able to play next Sunday against Carolina, against New Orleans in the Superdome. And uh, Garrett Sellers uh, left uh, had a hamstring injury. He did not return. And uh, once as a fast, just he thought it was safe at the point there, had their uh, team get back healthy. They took another major step back. And, you know, it's not going to be even better. Because now, not only uh, with the loss today, Seattle did beat Atlanta. They're now two games behind Seattle. You cannot no longer worry about the Seahawks. Now you're going to fight for your last for the playoffs. Because now, when it comes down to those tiebreaker between the Niners and Panthers, the Panthers, if the Chiefs didn't get it today, the Panthers will be the number five team, and the Niners will jump all the way down to number six. 
and, uh, and it doesn't get better from the there. So the Niners out to six and three. Carolina with the win. I will say six and three. It ain't hard for real. And and also Carolina has now beaten San Francisco in eight of the last ten head-to-head games since 1999, when the Panthers were still in the NFC West prior to the visual realignment of 2002. They now have won the last four games in a row. So the Niners will be back in action. They'll take on the New England Saints from the Super Bowl this Superdome. This will be their first trip back to the Super Bowl since Super Bowl 47 back in February. This will be the third trip for the Niners to the Superdome for the third time in the last 12 months. Kickoff time will be at 105 Pacific Standard Time. That game will be on Fox as a reminder. Great Niner fans, you can win tickets, the grand prize for two tickets for the Niners final Kansas Park game. On Monday, December 23rd, Monday Night Football, the Niners take on the Atlanta Falcons the last year's match of the NFC Championship. If you go online at 49 find for more information. And to get more of the 49 game experience or any other games, go to 49ersexperience.com and call the Niners hotline for more information on the grand prize. 